Welcome to the Cellpoint Identity Security Solutions Show, the one place where you're going to get all the latest and greatest information on Cellpoint product portfolio. I'm James Honey, and joining me today is Andrew Moore, Vice President of Product Management. Andrew, welcome and thank you for joining. Yeah, glad to be here. Awesome. So as we know, cloud infrastructure is such an integral part of, of organizations' just structure and what they do today. So, But we also know a lot of them struggle with bringing identity security to their cloud infrastructure, really yeah. getting good cloud governance. So that's going to be our topic today. So Andrew, you ready to get into it? Yes, jump in. All right. I know you talk to a lot of customers on a daily basis. And... Um, because just your role here at Cellpoint. So who, what are the challenges that the, you're hearing from these customers? Yeah, you know, it's just been fascinating to watch. Um, it's part of a larger meta trend that's been mm -hmm. happening over the last decade, just right. movement to the cloud. And it feels like we've been speaking about it for a long time, but it keeps evolving. The challenges that I see so often is the transition and skill sets, yep. being really familiar with on-premise software, moving to cloud, having a hybrid experience first and foremost, getting to going much deeper into using all the bells and whistles, incredible technologies that cloud platforms can offer you, and then getting into multi-cloud environments. Yeah. And so regardless of the maturity curve, where you are in your cloud journey, customers are having to rework skill sets, rework their processes on how they design access, how they govern access, right. the pace at which things can be <laughs> spun up, spun down, automation can be used is another one of those challenges you see right. at the more mature end of customers leveraging cloud platforms. So it's just got all these unique elements that are fun problems to solve, but can be really risky. Right. And you know, Microsoft Security puts out a report each year on the state of cloud access, and they they surmise that, or they found in their ecosystem that 50% of identities had access to the entire cloud wow. surface area, wow. which is, if you just think about the risk vector of identity yeah. and having access to your infrastructure in yeah. the cloud, that can be such a major risk for organizations. Uh, so we're invested in helping our customers solve that problem. Yeah. And I think you kind of mentioned a little bit of it, but let's kind of dig in. Um, what's so special uh, about this cloud, a cloud access and platforms like AWS and Azure? And then, um, and is that all, you know, because we've been securing access for a long time, almost two decades now. Yeah. What's, what makes that unique? Yeah, there are some similarities that we see in more, uh, either older, traditional, right. basic, root, root type access like Active Directory. Right. So I have this comparison I think about often within our teams where if you look at cloud access into Azure or, or AWS, GCP, just having a piece of access doesn't necessarily easily tell you what they can do with it. Right. You may think of what we call entitlements in our systems. If it doesn't have a good description, yeah. you may not know what it is, but it will just be to a singular application like, say, Salesforce or uh, Epic, something like that. It can get so complex, even in those applications and in cloud infrastructure, mm -hmm. we talk about uh, effective access. Right. You may be given an access point, an access object, and it can enable you to do all these myriad things inside the ecosystem. So I compare it back to what we see a lot of time in Active Directory with nested groups. Mm. There is this map that you have to follow. And right. what we found over time is step one is helping customers visualize that effective access, see through the various jumps and nodes that enable you to do things, isolate where there are issues in that logic and that security that you need to lock down. So that's what's special. It's not that it's completely novel and new. There are some of these patterns and anti-patterns that we found that we can help customers with. But back to that pace, rate of change, high level of automation that you, you get more easily and embedded into cloud infrastructure today, right. you see that more often. Awesome. So, you know, we, we, we've talked about cloud governance and stuff, but let's kind of bring it together. So. Um, why should organizations care about uh, this in the context of this comprehensive identity security that we like to talk about a lot? Yeah. I mean, once again, we keep using the term infrastructure. Yeah. And yeah. whether we're talking about 
uh, the world, critical infrastructure like yeah. roads and yeah. plumbing and our electricity <laughs> system, the infrastructure that runs your applications of your business is is part of how you actually create value in the world. Yeah. So it's not just a maybe nice to have application. These are the ways in which you are running your critical applications, yeah. creating infrastructure yeah. if you're building products, if you're yeah creating uh, connections yeah. between all these applications to enable productivity. You're running your security ecosystem on top of it. So it's this foundational layer that if you are not securing and governing, your risk profile just, just multiplies. Just, yeah, yeah. So I would imagine, you know, what you're talking about and just listen, listening to the change, there's a lot of uh, amount of data, the automation, the up sure. and the down, the moving uh, happening in the cloud platforms. So with all that movement, you know, I think you touched a little bit, but let's expand a little bit more on those unique challenges that this creates yeah. uh, for customers and even our product team at times. Yeah. Yeah, so for customers, you're so right. There is the, the pace I keep talking about, the yeah. automation that I keep speaking about. The rate of change creates a lot of either noise and yeah. some signal that you need to get to the down to to understand yep. who made this change. Was it done through automation? Was it done by a person? What effective access granted this capability? The more mature you get, you can do more with that. You yep. can create more innovation, create more productivity, but you're generating so much more information. Yeah. So to govern that in a repeatable fashion at scale is really, really challenging. So I'll hear customers saying, one of the next rungs or the next horizon that we're concerned about is this ephemeral access or ephemeral objects. You're spinning up a resource in AWS to achieve a certain task, it spins down. Is that visible? Do you yeah. know what happened? Can that yeah. be done by you, a bad actor and you yeah. you don't you never see it coming. You never see right. that actually arriving and then being able to remediate it. So that's one of these issues that we help solve. How do we find signal in this mass amount of noise? For yeah. customers, it's bringing you to the right insights. It's sifting through all that information. For our team, while this, why this has been so interesting, big data can be really fun. It yeah. feeds yeah. our machine learning platform and yep. the way in which we yep. can solve problems uniquely, but that can be really costly. It can lead to long time for processing, it can create just lots of issues from an engineering and product sense. So for us, we've done all these really interesting, compelling things on how we make that really efficient, hyper-efficient, cost-effective for our customers, and then getting to the right types of models that can learn and adapt over time, isolate the changing signal of risk that you can react to, the way in which people access objects in different and unique ways. Yeah. So it's it's an exciting problem to solve because it's so hard. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're really just proud of what we have been able to do alongside our customers and designing something that people are getting a lot of value out of. Great, that's great to hear. So kind of want to shift it for the last question is, um, you know, we've talked about the tech, we've talked about the movement and stuff, the changes, the dynamics. So let's talk about how um, does the, this necessity around cloud governance affect organizations? Because usually organizations, you have a cloud team and you have an identity team. Yeah. You, you know, they've got to kind of work together in this world. Yes, so true. Um, similar to what I've heard for a while with identity teams in large enterprises is you're, you're the center point. And mm -hmm. you need to have incredible relationships with your HR team, right. with your financial team, all the business application owners in order to have a successful program. As identity has continued to transform from mm -hmm. being just about compliance and governance yes. into more real time and security, yeah. we're entering a new space where there's new relationships and partners. There's new gray areas or overlaps with the types of surface area that you want to govern secure over time. And cloud has been just a perfect example of that, where you right. previously may have seen it, most of the ownership residing in your DevOps team or IT and infrastructure versus having that direct ownership and relationship inside of an identity and access team. Yep. And we've just seen those lines blurring more and teams coming together where each side is getting benefit. We've right. got the identity organization seeing there's this you know incredibly important business essential part yep. of our yep 
company that we need to have visibility into is secure, but we can't slow down these teams that move incredibly exactly. fast because of the pace at which you need to compete. And we're just finding, you know, the way we need to understand our customer problems, build for them is creating synergies for those teams where they yep. can interact really easily. And the value proposition is clear on both sides around productivity and enabling people to be able to achieve their job, but not creating access sprawl or uh, an inability to see what's happening in that environment. And an identity team, you know, or the CISO's organization knowing that they can trust that access is designed well, it's reviewed, governed, and that they've got everything they need to do to, to secure that environment. It comes down to that security. That's right. Awesome. Andrew, thank you very, very much for joining us today. Yeah. I think it was hopefully very inform informative for me, uh, hopefully informative for our crowd. I want to thank you all for listening and joining and tuning in. To learn more about CellPoint Identity Security Cloud Portfolio or listen to other episodes, please join us at CellPoint.com. Thank you. Thanks, everyone.